What's going on YouTube once again? It's Nostalgia Boy and I'm back with another video. Uh, jerseys out of the collection. Uh, I know the last couple of videos I dropped, I've been wearing whatever jersey I wanted and it didn't necessarily proceed what I was gonna be showing you. But of course I do have on a basketball jersey so I will be showing two basketball jerseys out of the collection. Uh, the one jersey I'm surprised I haven't showed. I've had it for some time and I was going back through my videos, you know, to make sure, cause I don't want to show, you know, a repeat of a jersey unless it was like a recoup, which there's no jersey that's a recoup. And uh, I'm surprised I never showed it. It's actually one of my favorite throwbacks. And then the other one, will complete a set for me that I've always wanted to complete. And uh, I honestly thought I wouldn't ever get the set complete. It's kind of like a hard jersey to necessarily find, especially of course, you know, in 48s, 44s, 46s, as always. So as you can see, I have on my custom 1977 All-Star Game Pistol Pete Maravich jersey. Uh, I know I did a couple videos back. I did Maravich jerseys. I think I showed this. Uh, I love this custom. I know Mitchell and S did a little thing on Twitter one time asking about these jerseys, but nothing came to fruition with them asking about the jerseys. I really wish that they did because when uh, the All-Star Game was held in Milwaukee. Mitchell and S did release all, like, shirts, hats, like, hoodies. You know, they released stuff from the 77 All-Star Game. So, I, the 77 All-Star Game is dope because of the script that they have. And the dude who did this did an exceptional job. The only thing that sucks is he's kind of went ghost. So, there's no way to get any more custom jerseys from him. And it was really good price. He was out in the Philippines, but I don't want to keep ranting and going on. I'm going to get to the jerseys. First up, we have your 1994-1995 alternate Sacramento Kings jersey. These Sacramento Kings jerseys are hella dope. I have always wanted this jersey. This is actually the second production of this jersey. Mitchell and Ness did do this jersey back in the day. So like 2005, six, 2005, 2006, uh, made an El Salvador run, but I will get into the details between the differences. At the end of the day, I'm just glad to have this jersey in my collection. And I just think that it's dope and the checkerboards is dope. So this is the alternate that the Kings wore for a couple seasons in the 90s. Uh, as you can see, so with the Kings, each letter is quadruple stitch. So it's white on black twill, on glitter twill, on purple twill. And then the same thing goes for the number two, as you can see. Uh, this is not sublimated. There's no white inside to the jersey so you actually have the purple and the black part of the jersey stitched together making a jersey on the side you have the checkerboard panels which is hella dope but i will get into the details of what's wrong with this jersey when it comes to it this is a made in china run uh size 48 let's see if i can get like a close-up so you can see that awesome glitter twill that Mitchell and Ness has done on the jersey. Turn it around. You have Richmond, which is single stitch. And then just like everything on the front, you have this two quadruple stitched. So Mitchell and Ness did an El Salvador run of this jersey. The problem with this jersey is if you were to go by game worn standards the checkerboard wasn't as huge as this and uh it shouldn't be white it should be gray and it should have like uh like a, a dazzle to it how you see on the dazzle twill 
So the older run, Metro and SL Salvador run, had the smaller checkerboard, which would be more uh, closer to game worn, game issued stuff, or retail authentic. The one thing I will say, I know people, you know, some people live and die on champion, champion retail authentic. The side isn't even done correctly, so it's not like an insert. It's basically sublimated into material, so it's just jersey mesh all the way through, which isn't how it's done. It's supposed to be like a solid knit panel on the side of the mesh jersey. But on the El Salvador run, they did not have the dazzle twill on, you know, stitched with the Kings. And I'm pretty sure uh, the purple background for the Kings went all the way around the Kings, whereas it's supposed to be each individual letter has its own stitching instead of it being basically stitched onto like a panel. So there are some minor discrepancies. I know sometimes in the light, this purple can really pop and look really bright, but in person, the purple is actually a darker hue. At the end of the day, I wanted this jersey. They were hard to come by. I know Mitchell and Essex restocked them. I haven't seen anyone in any of the jersey groups or online that has gotten a, like the reissued version of this jersey. So this is an earlier made in China run and it was a while before they actually redid this jersey. So at the end of the day, one of my favorite throwbacks, I just think overall, awesome design. You know, you have the two-tone purple and black. You got the checkerboard on the side. You got the dazzle twill in with, you know, all the letters and numbers and whatnot. So clean jersey, dope jersey. Next up will be the jersey that completes a set. We have your 1983-84 Kiki Vandeway Denver Nuggets jersey. Of course, I have I, the home jersey. I think this is the road jersey. I'm not sure, but I've completed the set. And I've always wanted the white one. I wanted the Alex English, but uh, I was able to actually get Kiki Vandeway, which isn't bad. Uh, I completed the set. At one point, I almost got the other one which I'll show because, you know, to show off the set. I just think that this colorway is so dope. This is the precedent that started the whole uh, rainbow background into their jersey. Later on, the more famous late 80s, 90s jerseys that people remember with the blue. And then, you know, you have the rainbow skyline for the Nuggets. But I've always loved this jersey, especially because, you know, it has this nice dark green well, not dark green, but this nice green, like, trim. So, you know, the neck and the shoulder area. Uh, 55 is double twill stitch. So, it is yellow on blue. The mountain. So, basically, the mountain with basically the city skyline is a single stitch. And then Nuggets is double stitch. Just like 55 was, it's yellow on navy blue. This is an older run USA uh 83 84 i actually had to get this jersey uh hemmed up tailored up because on this run of the jersey i don't know why even though it was a 48 it is actually the length of like a 2xl i had to do the same thing with the blue one so i had to get the bottom tailored so that it didn't look like a dress on the back you have vandaway single stitched in navy blue on a nameplate and then you have 55 double stitch like on the front this is just a clean jersey now i will mention because i've showed pictures of this jersey this jersey is not black it's not black it's not black this jersey is a navy blue it's really it's sometimes in the pictures i'm real like when it comes to colors i'm you know I really look for the colors and some people think this is black. It's not black. I'll get to showing both of them in a second. Hopefully I can get uh, you know, a good look so you can see that this jersey is navy blue. So hopefully it comes out well in the video. So I've always wanted to complete this set. So you have the road 
and the home jersey. Eventually, I will get the Alex English, the later. I did have the white one from the 8788, but I do want to complete the set of the 8788 Alex English in the white and the blue. So here you have it. You have your completed set for the 8384. These dudes definitely uh, lit up the scoreboards, you know, together while they were in Denver. So beautiful jerseys here. Uh, you know, it would be dope if Mitchell and Ness did make these jerseys again, but who knows what they're doing. They have been trying. They have been making all their jerseys, and then at the same time, you know, I know some of us jersey heads kind of get frustrated because, you know, we want them to produce certain things. At the end of the day, I'm just glad that they're still dropping authentics. Could be worse. It could just all be swing bands. So, hope that you enjoy the jerseys. So you have your alternate, Sacramento Kings, Mitch Rich, and then you have the white away, Kiki Vandeway, Denver Nuggets, 83-84. Both those jerseys, uh, glad to have them in the collection. I've actually had them for a while. I'm surprised I never showed them in video. I know I have showed this jersey. This is actually the second one that I've owned uh, the other one I sold off a while ago. I actually had to get the blue one tailored as well because of the length, but set complete. Both these jerseys are dope as hell. Hope you enjoyed the jerseys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, I'm out of here.